introduction we're getting back into the studio i need to woo. so you can see i've limited my uh, palette today i've just got some prussian blue some mars black and white just three colors and and i like showing um beginners that you don't need a vast array of paints and brushes and things like that all i'm trying to do you is to get you to paint and if you get out go along and paint and you can start producing some fantastic work so without further ado um, i'm going to be doing some sort of a seascape today um, the reason i've done that is because it's a foul old day out there today um, we've had storm kira coming in um, from from the um, atlantic and it's caused some um, high winds and things like that so i thought it'd be good if i did some sort of a, a seascape and we put some rocks in something like this and when you're starting out just have a quick idea of what you want your painting to, to to look like it doesn't have to be accurate just just a couple of little squiggles like that you want to um some sort of an horizon line if we do in a seascape but we want we want this horizon line to just to be a little bit of a swell so we don't want dead straight because we want to try and emulate that that swell that's that we get in in the ocean or the sea or whatever you call it and um, i thought we'd have some sort of a a big breaker or something and just splashing down like that and we'd have some rain coming in like this there you go have some rain coming in so basically that's our seascape there we are we've got this this blue blue sky and i want this quite painterly today um, i'm looking for some just brush strokes like this i'm not gonna i don't want it too smooth I've, i like the i like the roughness of the paint and i was watch i was looking at something i'm gonna mix some ultramarine blue but, um sorry prussian blue and some black together um and i'm just gonna darken some of the sky up as it's wet there i want it to, to, to look quite stormy I don't want to go too dark too quick but I want to get this storminess in there like that maybe just a touch more white let's get over there I want to I, I tell you what I'll do I'll, let's make this let's make this quite dark over that side there we go and just mix it in blend it in blended it in like this and the idea behind these um, lessons is that if, if, if you're practicing because this is all I try to show is practice paintings and I just add in a bit of black a bit of Prussian blue and, and a bit of white together and I'm gonna see if I can come up with something for you to to do a little bit more advanced so you can go from this then to A little bit more advanced work then i'm bringing you some really good finished painting some the type of paintings that i paint um let me show you what i mean and um, this is one that i've i might have showed you this before but this is one that i'm i'm halfway through at the moment there you go there's a lot more detail in there a lot more skill level in there um and it's, it, it takes a lot longer to do so i'm going to be producing things like that shortly so if you want to stay with me then please stay along and um, we will see what what the future holds for us there we go so let's just put a, a bit of color into the base there we go just bringing in a little bit of white then just to flick it up like that because don't forget this is a really cold wet old type of day i'm going to increase the the brightness of this this color i'm going to bring in that down then there like this and this painting is inspired by a place called um puth call um this is not far from where i live i live not far off the coast so this painting is inspired by that now i'm i'm, I'm quite happy for you to carry on and and paint this and if you're happy with your result and go ahead and 
and sell it on a craft fair or something like that. Like, as I said, these are just study paintings. I've got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of little paintings like this that I do. Um, there's the, as I call them, study paintings, because I take these paintings on from this stage then onto a bigger canvas. And, and, and that's my process of painting, basically. Uh, and that's what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. So um, when, I'm, when I'm in the studio, when I'm in the studio, that's what I do. I'm just going to put a bit of shadow in into this water now, like this. And, and the idea is to be, uh, be loose, as being loose and as free as you possibly can with this type of, this type of style of painting, because there's many different styles of, of, of painting that you can do. So I'm going to get some black now onto a brush. I'm, I'm just using a, um, a number 20 brush. There you go. It's just using a size 20 brush. I'm not using anything more than that. I'm just going to put some black in, some really dark color. Just to bring in maybe some rocks and stuff like this. Because don't forget, this is, this is quite a dark, going to be quite a dark, miserable looking uh, painting. There you go. Maybe some more rocks there, like this. Just going into the water. We'll be incorporating um, another um, brush in a second, just to put some details and stuff in. But these rocks are just everywhere, really, like this. I'll just block that in like that. That's what they call a block out. There you go. Just a block out. A block out of colour. Let's just get a little bit of blue in there like that. I'm just putting a few little darker strokes. Let's get some more shadow in. Like that, darken that up. Tell you what, let's put a let's put a nice rock there. And why not? Put a nice rock in there like that. Just poking his head out of that. Surf. There we go. <laughs> All right. Am I happy with that so far? I think I might be. Yes. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm just going to get a hairdryer on that. And the simple reason I do that is because um, it allows me to um, keep painting layer and layer and layer. Now, you don't have to use a, br a hairdryer. If you don't want to, you can just wait for it to dry. It takes about 15, 20 minutes. But I tend to force dry it, um, which you can do. There's no harm in that as long as you're, you're not too harsh with it. Um, and that allows me to con continue with the, the, the lesson. So now I've done that, I want to um, just get myself a bit of kitchen roll. Um, I'm going to continue using this size 20. I'm just giving that a rinse out in my little washing pot. Um, I'm just going to get some white on my brush. I'm just going to mix a little, mix that with a little bit of that Prussian blue and black and stuff. So it's it's not a, it's not a perfect white then. Taking a little bit of excess off my brush like this. There you go. And I'm I'm just looking at this now and I'm gonna put some light in like this. Because this is quite in a distance, so if there is any waves over there, they're gonna be quite close together because waves You'll notice in the distance waves can be quite close and as they come forward they come wider apart like that and that's what you want to try and achieve like this. And as I said this is just a steady painting so. Maybe we have a bit of spray going on there like that. There we are. 
and we're going to have something we're going to have something there so let's put that in now let's get some more white because I haven't got enough paint on my brush so I'm going to get a bit more white I'm going to just chuck in some spray there like this not being too accurate just want to get that might have hit a big rock or something getting, getting a bit more darker type of colour on my brush just getting some shadows in a bit more of that dark colour don't forget there's a rock there so we got to highlight that in a second get some Prussian blue and some black and we'll get some shadow just under there like this and get that all to blend in so using the side of the brush if first it don't succeed just keep trying and you will get there Now to me that's still a little bit light so I wanna I wanna darken this up a bit more. It's a, a mighty big get a bit of light, light colour mixing that in. some more shadow down here don't worry if you've painted over your rock like I've just done we know it's there we know where we've put that so and we might decide that we don't want that rock in there but I've decided I'm gonna keep it but you might decide that you don't want that rock in there so just get that flow of color there we are like this Let's get a little bit of dark colour. Some shadows here and there. I'm just keep looking at the painting and thinking, yeah, I, I need to darken that a little bit there. need some shadow in there and keep looking at it and keep trying to develop that uh, again I'm going to dry that with a hairdryer and one of my favorite tricks is to put a wash of color now a wash is basically just a very very thin coat of paint over the surface of your painting and so I'm just going to put a light color of Prussian blue just over the whole painting like this make sure that your painting is 100% dry for this method don't forget I'm painting on cardboard so it's quite absorbent and you can do this anyway with card because card is super absorbent and um, there's no problems with peeling or flaking or nothing like that and again we just get the hairdryer and dry that off and make sure it's 100 percent dry what i'm going to do now is switch down to um a half inch short flat um, i'm just going to get some 
medium mix and a little bit of my titanium white because what I want to try and do is I want to just put a little glow of white just shining through like this like as if there's a little bit of a light on the horizon there's a little bit of chance that maybe 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 that sun will come out or at least it'll stop raining there you go so a little bit of glow a little bit of glow in that sky like that dry your brush off dry your brush off and then just lightly scrub that in you've got a damp brush even if you use a little bit of tissue paper just scrubbing that along like that don't forget we want that painterly look that painterly effect that could be a little bit of light just coming from behind that that cloud which is zinging along there let's get a little bit of titanium white on our brush now and just using little little cross Chris a little like smiley marks really and I just want to pick up a few hints on the waves where the light is just picking up those wavelets there you go some splashes there we'll have a look at that in a second could put some splashes in here rocks under there that we can't see but we know they're there there's no pattern to waves and on water really just put in a few little lines like this try not to destroy everything that you've done with those shadows and and stuff underneath and don't forget this is just a steady painting it's nothing more and nothing less than just a steady painting so let's mix a bit of Prussian blue and black together let's mix some white to that I want it I want it like a, um, a gray blue type of color because what we want to do now is get this lovely color taking some paint off my brush and I'm just gonna just put in some highlights just drag in this brush like you would with a palette knife type of thing just get in some light on these rocks like this Don't forget we want that dark colour. So I'm going to get some black now. And I'm going to intensify the shadows. Around where we put those highlights. It's hard to see where one rock starts and another one begins. But we know they're there. And as we sit back, we can see that. Maybe, maybe, just a few other darker areas, just in here like this, just to give it a bit of a pushback. And we got this rock then, this 
a bit of Mars black. We've got this rock that's sticking its little head out of that water, as we said. There, like that. Make a bit of this. Spray just come in around that rock like that. Maybe some spray just running down the rocks like this. You can see it's quite a dark looking eerie painting. This could be a very dark day. Or it could be just simply the fact that it's maybe twilight. You decide. It's your painting. You decide. So I'm getting some white paint. And now I'm just going to put in some spray on this big... rocks there that you can't see they've covered in the spray there you go maybe that's just going Shh. let's get a bit of this color okay now a brush just darken that colour up a bit. I want to try and merge that into that. Darken in the shadows. bit more. I just see a little bit more. Let's just get a little bit of blue and white. There like that. Don't forget, don't forget this is not a finished painting. Don't forget this is not a finished painting. This is a study. This is how you learn. Practice all your little techniques and your brush strokes and, and that's what it's about it's not about finality it's about a beginning it's about a journey that you're creating on canvas or on board or or something like that this is about you this is about your artistic journey and that's what it's all about is the growth of your journey in art is it is the important thing that looks quite a stormy old seascape so let's get that dry and once more let's get our size 20 brush rinsing that out in some soap and some water making sure it's nice and clean wiping the brush dry always tap the brush like that never pull too hard like that because you're going to pull the bristles out so always tap it dry tap it dry tap it dry now i've got some mixing white zinc mixing white if i'm going into this don't worry because i'll show you how to do this in one second now titanium white and zinc mixing white are two different things there's a very very translucent white and there's a very 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 opaque white now for this method you want a translucent white or a very very thin um uh, opaque white like titanium which is this is where this comes in handy because you shouldn't have to buy zinc mixing white if you can thin it with this um but I've got mixing white there, so I'm going to use this. And I'm going to thin this down like this. With that anyway. There you go. And I use this to, to knock things back in the distance. But today, what I'm going to do is just put in... Let's see if I can get that just a little bit thicker. Today, I'm just going to put some lines in like this. Let's 
Just get a little bit of... I'm just going to get those little lines. Very, very flicky, flicky lines. Don't, don't do too many. Just a few. Just to show that maybe... It's like that. It's, you, you'll get this when you take pictures on, on a camera. It's just a frozen moment in time. It's like... Oops, that's a bit thick. There we are. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I'm not. Just flick it in. It's like a fro frozen moment in time. Get your finger in there if you want to. It's like it's a big storm. Big storm. Just and it's all rain. Rain flicking down like that. There you go. I'm just going to dry that air. And then we got a lovely seascape on a nice stormy day. A, a good way to practice all your brush strokes and your painting effects and things. Give it a try. Take this study painting on into a slightly larger canvas and put a lot more detail into it and see the improvements that you can make from uh, this study painting and turn out a wonderful piece of art that I'm sure I know 100% that you were able to do that so I hope you've enjoyed this lesson today if so please click the subscribe button over there are some um, some of the lessons you might be interested in to have a look at down there there's a couple of links click on them don't forget to click the notification button and because I upload every week on a Monday so until next time bye